Good morning. It is a wonderful morning in Melbourne. Uh, the sun is out. It is currently 10.20. Uh, I've been up for a few hours. Nala had to be taken to the vet uh, for surgery. Um, so I took her for a little short walk in the morning. So I got a little bit of sunlight as Andrew Huberman says, like a sunlight in the morning is really good for like awakeness and alertness and setting your circadian rhythm and anyway, all that type of jazz. So did that in the morning and now I've got pretty much the morning and the house to myself while my mum is at the vet with Nala. And I thought I'd just make myself a cup of tea and just chat about how I'm feeling. I woke up this morning actually with a little bit, like my mom was actually quite agitated and a little bit anxious. Um, and I don't know why, like it's, like if I know why, then it's obviously a little bit, um, like it's a, it's a little bit more settled, but now it's just like, I have no idea why I'm feeling this way. And it's not concerning because it's not extreme levels of anxiety. It's just like slight worry. Um, and I don't wanna read in too much with it. I sat for a little bit, kind of like felt through the anxiety and like what it was trying to tell me. Um, and yeah, and so now I'm gonna actually do something about it because I felt it. Now I'm gonna like think about what can I do now to kind of make myself feel a little bit better. So pretty much the first thing that we're gonna do this morning is I'm gonna start by writing three things that I'm grateful for and why I'm grateful for it. And we're gonna see how I feel after. Okay, so I wrote a few things that I was grateful for and I'll share them with you now. Um, first one is I'm grateful for Nala. She adds so much joy and laughter to my life. And she also forces me to go on walks, which makes me fit and healthy in a way. Two, I am grateful for community and friends. Last night we actually had like, I actually had like heaps of people over and it was just really nice, really nice and warm that we could, that I could host them at home. Um, and we just ordered pizzas and talked for a little bit and everyone just hung out. And it was just really nice to kind of have that, have that nice energy around. Um, in the house. And the third thing is flexibility on my work. And this, what this means, why I find this um, really important to me and why I'm really grateful for it is because it allows me just to have pockets of time throughout the day and throughout the week where I can have like that time just to myself, where I could just pretty much do whatever I want, work on other projects, hit the gym, or even like just catch up with a friend for a coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for those three things. I'm grateful for like a lot more in my life as well. Um, and like naturally this exercise is not gonna do anything for this anxiety that my mind is currently feeling at the moment because naturally with these things, you know, they take, they take time and you have to consistently do it over and over and over again for it to actually have a proper effect. If you just, just do it once off, it's not gonna change anything. Um, but what it has done for me is it's brought, you know, what I love in my life to the forefront of my mind. Like it's brought Nala, it's brought friends, family, um, and like my work that I enjoy and the flexibility of it to the forefront of my mind. So that my, like this anxiety that this part of my mind is feeling, it's not focused too much on it anymore. Um, it now just is focused on that, but then also all these other good things that I got going on. Um, so yeah, so it's a good start to the morning. I just, um, I just hung up the washing as well because um, the washing machine like does this annoying beeping noise and I don't want mum to come home later and then just be like, why haven't you hang up the washing yet? And then I don't want to forget either. So I just thought I'd just quickly go ahead and do that. But now, anyway, we're gonna have, it is currently, it's currently, it's almost 11 o'clock. So we're gonna make some oats for breakfast, um, like kind of brunch, 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 lunch sort of vibe. And then we're gonna go take a call and then we're gonna head off to a program that I'm running um, down near Westall. Yeah, down near Westall. So that should be fun, let's go. Also, I just had a thought, this tea that I made this morning that's in this cup, it's now gone cold. But this tea, I think, is the, the same tea that they use in bubble teas. Um, I think it's this one. It's the Ito Iten, um, sorry, Ito N. Um, I got this one from, I got this one from Coles, I don't know. But this green tea tastes exactly like the green tea that you get in like, you know, 
lychee green tea with like pearls, or like lychee green tea with like lychee jelly, which is like my uh, my bubble tea order. Um, and like, I think I only like, I'm just so excited because I just realized, I only realized that after the green tea went cold and then I was having it and I was like, oh, hang on, this taste is really familiar. Obviously there's no sugar in it. Um, but yeah, I just thought, anyway, let's make some oats. I've had my breakfast, I've packed my bag, and now I'm gonna go head down to the program. Let's go. I have just arrived at the school. Um, really looking forward to this session. This session's gonna be really small. There's only a small number of kids, so there's only about, there'll be anywhere between 20 to 30 students there. Um, and this is like the high achievers, um, high achievers of the school. So that the program we're gonna be pretty much delivering is gonna pretty much give them the tools, the mindset, um, that they can use to support themselves through their learning journey through the last few years of their high school um, life. And so it's packed full of like some awesome stuff like memory skills and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be really good, short, quick. So I'll literally be back here in just a moment. Um, but yeah, it's only, it's only an hour long, so it's not, it's not something too stressful um, to deal with. And this school, like the students are fantastic. They're amazing. Um, so yeah. Cool, I'll be back in a minute. All right, session is all done. That went pretty well. We like we were rushed a little bit for time, we ended up starting I think about 15 minutes later than we wanted to. Um, but that's absolutely fine. It was a shorter program in a way, so it just made, I suppose, filling in that time um, a lot more effective and ended up working out just fine at the end anyway. Kids had lunch while we were doing the program as well which is interesting. I thought, it might, I thought it might be a little bit distracting, but like, yo, it just worked. It worked completely fine. I suppose, you know, basics come first. Survival needs obviously come first. So nothing better like getting a bit of food in your system um, whilst you're learning. Um, so yeah, now we're just gonna be heading home. I no longer feel anxious anymore, which is nice, which is a good feeling. Um, it might be because one, I had water, I, I ate something this morning, I had breakfast, um, which obviously shows the importance of like eating food. Um, I think I remember one psychologist once mentioned, and I read somewhere as well where like, if you get like stressed or like worried, it might actually just be because you're hungry and your body just doesn't know what to do. So if you eat something, especially if you eat breakfast in the morning, it's especially good. And if you're in high school as well, you don't wanna be skipping breakfast. Like it's one of the worst things that you could um, possibly do, especially for your mental health. Um, so yeah, that might've been one of the reasons why I was anxious this morning. So I'm just kind of reflecting on that. Um, but otherwise I'm feeling great, high on energy. I'm really hoping that I can hit the gym later and I don't have to take this other call that I have to, take and if i can maybe push it back that'd be great um because then i could just hit the gym in the afternoon and relax and just study in the evening because this week um like this week is our next subject um for psych it's research research design and analysis which is lovely because we love statistics um that was a joke by the way can't stand it but it's okay the work has to get done i can find joy in it somehow um and yeah, so let's head on home and maybe eat something as well. I might stop over and get a coffee because there's no coffee at home. I know how dramatic and like how how devastating is that? There's no coffee at home. Um, so I might stop at 7-Eleven, get a dollar coffee and then um, make my way back home and we'll see what we'll end up doing then. So let's go. Right, we are back home now. I didn't realize, obviously clearly I didn't go grab a coffee. I didn't realize um, the time and I actually caught a little bit of traffic on the way back um, down from like near Clayton, um, which is really weird because it's like the mid afternoon and school's not finished yet, nor has work finished yet, um, which is really weird catching traffic on the way back, but that's okay. So we ended up getting home a little bit later than we expected, which is why I couldn't go grab coffee. Well, that's okay because I've got a meeting in about five minutes. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. And then we're going to get into some YouTube work. We've got to upload um, one of the videos. I've got to double check it, um, do a few corrections if I need to, then upload it and then like thumbnail and everything, get it sorted for release. Today at hopefully 5.30, 6 p.m. We will see how we go. So onto that meeting. 
All right, that meeting went quite well. I'm actually really happy about how it went. I'm feeling quite purposeful, quite fulfilled, which is obviously a really nice feeling. It's a really nice feeling to be feeling like this. Um, and I haven't felt like this in a while. So that is good. Really, 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 really good. I now have another meeting, which is in about 25 minutes, which is fun fact, the length of an anime episode, if you didn't already know, which is ideal. So maybe right after this, I might go watch a bit of an anime and then prep for the meeting. And then hopefully I'll be ready for it. This is more of a training that I've got where I'm going to be learning and developing a few, a couple of skills um, that I have just so I can perform better at work, which is, which is good, which is exciting. It means that there's a lot of growth to be looking forward to. Um, Anyway, I've done like a bit of a, I've done a bit of a change as well. I'm going to be hitting the gym with a mate after this sunny. So I've chucked on some gym clothes and we're going to probably hit push today. Um, from what I believe, I'll just ask him and see what we're doing. I haven't, I haven't been to the gym in a while. I think the last time I went to the gym was on Thursday last week. So it's been about four days. I need to be a little bit more consistent, but I'll find it. It's been, it's been a bit difficult trying to balance the study. Now that study's back on. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I can figure it out some way. Uh, I'll just have to plan my time accordingly and be a little bit more effective with how I've scheduled things in. Anyway, I'm gonna go and watch an episode of anime and then prep for this meeting. Classic, that meeting went way over time. Went about, I think, roughly 25 to 30 minutes over than what we had planned, which is okay. I generally plan for this, especially when I have a meeting like that. Um, but that's all good now. I've got to rush because I've got to meet Sunny at the gym. Um, so let's go. I just got back from the gym. Um, it was a really good session. We did chest and shoulders together. Um, I was fine, it was tough. I feel like I'm now doing strength training, which means low rep, um, but high levels of like sets. And I just feel like it just takes so much energy. And because I didn't really eat like much for lunch at all, to like push weight, I just felt like I was really drained of energy. Anyway, I just took a shower and now I'm back at home and we've got to do a few YouTube things. I was wanting to study today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, but that's fine. That's okay. There is, there is time for that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get to some YouTube stuff. I'm going to have dinner as well. And that's going to pretty much be the end of the evening. So let's get to it. This is what we have for dinner. So yesterday we had a function. Um, so we got all this really nice food and oh my God, these aunties can cook, man. Um, so we've got chana, we got biryani, so it's gonna be real nice. Um, and that's gonna be my dinner for this evening. That is it. That is pretty much the end to a day in my life. Today was pretty big. For me, I felt like it was extremely packed. Um, I started off the day with my mind feeling a little bit anxious, but now it's feeling very calm, very collected and very scented in a way, which is a great feeling. Um, I'm just waiting right now for a video to index on YouTube so I can just release it. I may release it today or I might release it tomorrow, depending on how I feel and depending on how late this ends up indexing. Um, if I feel like it's too late, then it's just, you know, I won't bother with it. Um, but otherwise, uh, things are going really, really well. So I'll just probably finish this up, get ready for the nighttime routine. Also, have a look at Nala. Like, this is what Nala looks like at the moment. It is so sad. She just went for surgery. Um, and this poor thing has to wear this coat. Anyway, hopefully she gets some good rest tonight. Speaking of which, after this is done, I'm gonna try and get into bed early because I have to wake up really early tomorrow. I've got another program in the morning um, with your nights. It's about an hour and a half, the program, which should be, should be really good, but there's just a lot of students. And I feel like when there's a big number of people, that tends to drain a lot of my energy. So I gotta make sure that I have a good amount of sleep 
to nine. And I'm always gonna make sure that I get my eight hours. Eight to nine hours is what I usually get on average. Um, obviously that changes, but I try my best to get within that range because ideally that's what you wanna do. So yeah. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great morning, a great evening, a great afternoon. I hope you have a great day ahead of you. And I guess I'll be seeing you in the next one. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well and obviously hit that like button. Share it with friends and family that you feel like would just enjoy this. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Good night, bye.